About 63% of persons in prison are those convicted of minor drug consumption offences. This whole category of persons in prison are there because of a consumption issue. So when you have such a large proportion of your community in prison who are there because of this issue, then us putting them in prison consistently is not addressing the problem. Imprisonment is always seen as a deterrent. There is no statistics to support that at all. Common sense will tell us if someone has a disorder, putting him in prison isn't going to deter him. Treating that disorder is what will deter him from returning to that. It is a health problem that needs to be addressed. For as long as he has a health issue, he is going to return to the use. So the moment you are a user, that is an offence within our Dangerous Drugs Act. And that overburdens the criminal justice system. If we address that 63%, automatically you would be diverting half, at least half of the prison population. And I must be very clear, we are not talking about the category of trafficking offences. That is a different category that requires um, a very severe or different treatment by the law. We are talking about persons who require help. We are using taxpayers' money to ensure that our society is safe. We think that by putting them in prison, the society will be safe. That's not the answer. Because all you're doing is sending them through a cycle. So if we've identified what the problem is, whether this person is a mere recreational user or whether this person needs treatment, and we divert that taxpayer's dollar towards the right answer, you will no longer stress the prisons, you would no longer stress healthcare within the prisons, especially during the pandemic. COVID spread like wildfire, as we know. It then extended into the communities. And that monies can be saved or diverted towards actually treating uh, persons who need treatment. And then you solve the overcrowding issue. These people shouldn't be there in the first place. Many countries, particularly Portugal, I think they've got a fantastic system that we might want to consider. This whole category of persons who consume, for whatever reason, to be diverted towards a committee that will then decide which part of that spectrum you fall in and what kind of treatment you need. Treatment could start even from just education, right up to proper harm reduction treatments and to meet out the relevant administrative sanctions so that we avoid this whole going into the prison, uh, criminal justice system in the first place. <laughs> <laughs>